Hi, I'm Andre, and this is a teaser talk for our work Partial Key Exposure Attacks on Bike, Rainbow, and Entru. And uh, it should motivate you to go to the talk at the main event. And it is joint work with Alexander Mai, Javier Verbell, and Wei Chang Wen. So in this work, we investigated the question if post-quantum candidates are leakage resistant. So what does this mean? In an informal sense, if you have an n-bit key and l-bit of this key get leaked, then uh, we say a system is leakage resistant if it offers a security of an n minus l-bit key, which is somehow the best one can hope for. And we know from classical schemes, like for example RSA, that this is not the case. So why do we ask this question for about post-quantum candidates? Because the best known attacks are enumeration based, meaning they enumerate the missing key bits and therefore strongly support this leakage resistance belief. So they do not exploit any key redundancy, key structure or public private key relations. And in this work, we give new attacks that actually heavily exploit those things. And uh, using our attacks, we give new bounds on the required leakage for full key recovery. So give me a, let me give a brief explanation of the methodology we used. So first we, we model the leakage. So from a theoretical point of view, how does the leakage that we obtain via some arbitrary side channel look like? So here we define uh, two to three different models. And just that you can relate to something, let me, let me introduce one of these models, which we call the erasure model. So we model the secret key always as a chunk of n bits. And uh, then you obtain, in the erasure model, you obtain an erased version of this key. So some of the bits got erased here, illustrated by the covered uh, areas with question marks. And uh, you, the, the value of those bits is not known. However, the, the green parts are known and the positions also, and it's guaranteed that those are correct. And uh, yeah, then, then given this erased key, we asked uh, two different uh, research questions. So the first one is about asymptotic leakage bounds. It means uh, basically we are asking how many erasures, so how many erased bits, how many question marks can we tolerate so that we can still recover all of them in polynomial time. And uh, here, for example, in the, in the entry case, we find that up to a uh, cube root of the length of this vector many erased bits can still be recovered in polynomial time. And then we asked a more practical question, a more practical question where we ask um, to how big uh, or how many erased bits can we tolerate if we want to recover the secret key uh, in time less than some threshold. This threshold might, for example, be two to the 60 bit operations. And then we, we find in the Andrew case um, and also in, in, in other cases that we can tolerate way higher um, erasures. Uh, and here, for example, in the Andrew case, we find that 30% of erasures can still be recovered using less than 260 operations. Overall, we, we, find, uh, we, we give such non-trivial polynomial time uh, key recovery attacks for all considered schemes, meaning Rainbow, Bike and Andrew. And uh, for all of them, we find uh, or we give even higher practical bounds that uh, stay below some threshold where we consider uh, different uh, bit complexities. And overall, our results are comparable to non-post-quantum systems like the results known for RSA, so that we can safely conclude that post-quantum candidates do not per se enjoy leakage resistance. And if you're interested in how we obtain our results and uh, in, of course, all our results on Bike, Rainbow and Andrew, then please attend our main talk in the Lotte Lehmann Hall on the 17th of August in the session starting at 10 a.m. Thank you very much.